void void okay it, it see th there are tricks to give answers okay see first method you picked up from the object class is get class, class. which is very tough method for freshers i take many interviews and I, when i see people have workspace fulfilled with these many codes it's really really happiest moment for the interviewer when he interviewing a fresher every interviewer want fresher should have hands on experience he should have practice like in bbc become b or any any stream doesn't matter great if i want to find maximum number in this program okay what code i need to change right that new instance method is there by cloning okay so just sometimes uh, interviewer might not ask you simple questions but i am saying again it's not necessary that we should be answering everything okay so don't worry about anything okay. hello everyone this is kiran uh, aaj hum kisi ek candidate ka fir se intro lene wale hai wo non it background se hai aur aap dekhoge ki kaisa unka preparation hai how she prepared uh, how her communication skill is how she built her confidence where she is lacking what guidance she got from teachers and how she followed it how she trusted her teachers faculties what she learned from the youtube what is youtube she understand better that is what i know from her uh, resume which i have so let's see how this interview goes and as i promised uh, we are reaching to a lot of lot of uh, subscribers we are reaching milestone soon we are about to reach 25000 subscribers and i am waiting for 1 lakh subscriber within 3 months this target i am telling in every interview and i want your support to subscribe to my channel and share it distribute everywhere wherever it is possible due to for due to many many freshers of college so that they also can get benefit as you are getting as you are seeing they will also see and they will prepare for their future डूंग Uh, actually, in starting, I was doing job in non-IT sector, mm -hmm. and uh, then I have uh, joined the class. Okay, so you are basically fresher. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, not much experience you have. Yes. yes, I can see two zero two zero two, two, two pass, pass out, right? Yes. Eight point seven two CGPA. Great. I see a lot of things you wrote in your resume, right? From Co Java, Advanced Java, Spring, Project, May One, Tomcat. All these things done in the class. Yes, sir. All the things done. Your engineering in which? Electrical stream. Electrical stream. Electrical. Electrical. Yes. No way related to IT. No, no. So still you are trying to shift. Yes. <clears throat> Great. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Yes. So we have Pooja with us. Uh, I'm Kiran. As usual, I'm bringing this one of the, the mock interview in front of you all. She is good in Code Java and One Java. As per what she is saying, and I can see her resume. and let's see how it goes uh, basically i'll be asking most of the questions on core java then advanced java and then about project so this is mix of everything uh, would be very very useful for everyone those who are hearing it yeah so let's start puja uh, without uh, wasting much time how to know can you give me a brief idea about yourself yes sir thank uh, first of all thank you so much sir for letting me introduce myself uh, my name is puja mukund patil i am from doe Uh, I have recently graduated with a degree in electrical engineering from Gangamai College of Engineering, Pune. Uh, as well as I have did the. Can you be a little slow? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. No, no problem. Uh, Relax. Okay, yes. don't worry. 
uh, as well as I have did the diploma in electrical engineering from Government College of Polytechnic, Dhuwe. Uh, and recently I have completed my course as a Java, develop, uh, Java developer uh, at the Kiran Academy. Uh, during my time in course, I have found a strong uh, foundation on the concepts like core Java, uh, keywords, data types, class, object, exception handling, collection framework, as well as I have knowledge about Spring Boot, uh, Maven Project, Tomcat, uh, Spring Framework, uh, and along with this, I have actively created the projects also. I have created the project in core Java, in which I have used MySQL database and JDBC technology, as well as I have created the project in advanced, uh, advanced also, where I have uh, performed the CRUD operations, and uh, where I have used different HTTP methods like post, update, delete. Great, great, great. Okay, so you did first diploma and then engineering, Haan, right? Then engineering, yes. Wonderful. Okay, so let's start with Core Java. Yes, okay, sir. so how much you rate yourself from 1 to 10? 1 is lowest, 10 is the highest in Core Java. 7.5 to 8. 7 to 8, right? Yes. 7.5, means more than 7, right? Yes. yes. In advanced Java? Uh, same, sir. Same? Yes. Sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Let me ask you directly about the project, okay? Okay, sir. What you did in this project, rather technical, tell me non-technical things. About or, Core Java project? Not Core Java, this project, uh, Advanced Java project. Sir, what you did in this project? Sir, actually I have created project about the shopping. Like uh, we did shopping uh, on the different, there are different categories while we are shopping. There are electronic products, then there are uh, clothing. Uh, home appliances. So I have created the project and there I have applied the HTTP method to insert the data into database, then fetch the data from the database. Then I have applied some conditions as well. If I wanted to fetch the data only, which is a uh, home appliances product, I will get only that. If I want only clothing category, then I will just get the clothing uh, one. Like so this. REST API you created or with UI you created? No, REST API I have created. Okay. Using a controller class, DAO class. You created by your own this thing? Yes, sir. Great, great, great. Okay. And another one project I can see that HTML, CSS, ah, That one actually I have created using the reference of YouTube. Uh, I have created the tour and travels management uh, website. Like we are booking uh, the um, vacation. This is by your own you explore, right? Ha, ha. I explore myself on YouTube and I have created that um, with uh, by looking in YouTube. I have created it. No problem. Along with that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me know like uh, what is object? Object uh, is instance of class. Basically, object is the real world entity, and the object have its state, its own behavior and state. Like uh, I have to give the real world example of object. Like whenever a developer thinks to construct a building, so first he will create a plan. He will not directly go and construct the building, but he will create a plan. Uh, where his kitchen is going to be, where his hall. And then on that plan, he will going to construct the apartment on different places, many apartments he can create. Like this, the apartment is the object and the plan is the class from which we can create many objects. Very good. With example, you, are elaborated, you have elaborated it. I liked it. Um, how to create object in Java? What are the with ways the, you know? With the help of new keyword, we can Any other way? Object. Constructor also used to create. But uh, with the help of new operator, anyway, you are using constructor, right? Yes. So any other way? Any other way? Uh, we are using class as well, string class. We can create object of string class. String no, class. no, no. Any class object you want to create. Let's yes. say there is a class A. Mm -hmm. How to create object of it? By using new operator, yes. where you use constructor, right? Constructor, yes. Any other way you know? Yes. Okay, no problem. There are other ways also, right? Okay. That new instance method is there huh. by cloning. Cloning. Huh. Okay. So just sometimes. Uh, interviewer might not ask you simple questions, questions yes. but I am saying again, it's not necessary that you should be answering everything. Okay, yes. so don't worry about anything. Yes. Okay, so let's start. Um, object class, you know, right? Yes. What are the methods object class have? Uh, it has method like get class, hash code, equals method. What is the return type of get class method? Uh, get class, object. Really? Yes. No. Okay. Uh, again, go on. Sorry. Uh, hash code equals method, two string method, finalized mm. method. Mm. What is the written type of finalized method? Void. 
void. Okay. It, it See, th there are tricks to give answers. Okay. Yes. See, first method you picked up from the object class is gate class, class, which is very tough method for freshers. Yes. Correct. Yes. So interview will try to screw you up in that. Yes. You're getting my point. Yes, sir. So start things which you know, like two string ah, method is there. Yes. I think you didn't say that, right? Yes, I said. Okay. So what is the use of two string method? Uh, we use when we want don't want to print the address of the memory address of the particular object. So we use two string. Very two string. good, very perfect. So you can say the string representation of any ah, object can be yes. using two string. Yes. Okay. So when I take answer uh, interview, most of the times I give answers also. So whenever possible, I will try to uh, answer in a proper way. Yes. But don't think like uh, when I am giving answers means you are wrong in that. Yes. Okay. This is just to uh, improve you and to the audiences. Artists, okay. Yes. So not a problem. Okay. So you know encapsulation? Yes. What is that? Encapsulation is basically a grouping mechanism where we uh, group all the data members into single entity. We use in encapsulation to uh, hide the data for security purpose or mm -hmm. to want the security over the data. Because encapsulation allows us to restrict the direct action, uh, direct uh, access to the internal data of the class. But uh, we can achieve that by using private access uh, uh, specifier. We can uh, create, we can uh, apply the access specifier to the variables, private access specifier, and we can uh, de declare the public data setters. For what is the difference between local variable and global variable? Uh, local variables are the method level variables, whereas global variables are the class level. Means perfect, local. perfect, very perfect. Uh, can class be private? Uh, outer class cannot be private, inner class can be private. Very good. What, what is good to use, whether global variable or local variable? Uh, glo uh, it is depend on the our necessity actually, because global variables are the uh, ones whose scope is for overall the class. Whereas local variables are whenever we want it for just a temporary use, then we can use local variables because it is get destroyed with when the execution of that particular method. You said destroyed. Is, is there any mechanism in Java to destroy an object? Uh, we can use uh, uh, garbage collection actually in which the unused uh, objects are get destroyed. How to run garbage collector? We advise JV, JVM with system.gc to run the garbage collection in Java. Okay, so system.gc you did means garbage collection will get run? Yes, just before that finalized method will get called. Which, it is guaranteed? Yes, which, uh, which, uh, which no, works with always system. remember garbage collector is not, not at all guaranteed. guaranteed process. Unnecessary why to destroy object, okay, when there is no need. Mm -hmm. so that is what garbage collector is doing, it's a thread, okay, uh, low priority thread, great. Next, can class be final? Uh, yes, class can be final. Can class be final and public? Final public, yes. Can class be final public static? Yes. Pakka? Huh. So you mean to say class can be static, right? Uh, yes. No, 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 class cannot be static. Class cannot be static? No, no. Okay. So remember, same like uh, you said for private, inner class might be uh, static, static but not outer, outer class. And public final static you cannot use. Mm -hmm. You can use obviously public and final. Final. Get the point? Yes. So can I say that? If any class is final, all methods of that class become final. Can I say that? Think. Yes or no? No, sir. But no. that class cannot be extended. So the out, from outside, uh, it is not possible to use the methods of that class. Oh, you mean to say if class is final means from outside, nobody can use methods of that class? Me we can use methods, but uh, we, we are not able to uh, access the properties of that class. I mean, it is so not you mean to say if class is final, and 10 methods are there in that class. Mm -hmm. Nobody can access those methods you want to say? Uh, it can be accessed because they are not private. So. Perfect. So my question is again simple. If class is final, can I say all methods will become automatically no, final? No. No? What is the use of final method? Final method implementations are permanent. Means we cannot modify it. Modify means how to modify methods in Java. Uh, we can override them in some Perfect, class. Perfect, right. So class is final, correct? Hmm. That means what you cannot do? Uh, we cannot extend that class. You cannot extend means can you override methods of that class? No. That means it if is class final. is final, automatically method methods becomes final. final. Perfect, very good. But you need to catch this at start. Yes. Okay, not uh, like deriving, deriving, deriving and then you are going to the answer. But a really good try. Okay, then next. Can I have static variables? Uh, 
फाइनल स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स पब्लिक फाइनल स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स पब्लिक स्टैटिक फाइनल एब्सट्रैक्ट वेरिएबल्स पक्का पक्का थिंक वेरिएबल्स कैन नॉट बी एब्सट्रैक्ट राइट सो सो व्हाट व्हाट कीवर्ड्स यू कैन अप्लाई टू वेरिएबल्स पब्लिक स्टैटिक फाइनल सो व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन फाइनल एक्स लेट मी कनेक्ट विद द जूम ओके ओके पूजा आर एबल टू सी दिस व्हाइट बोर्ड यस सर ओके या सो माय क्वेश्चन इज Is possible or not? Yes, it is possible. Okay. Now, what is the difference between Can we explain all these three variables one by one? Uh, sir, in this first line, where final int a equal to ninety, in this the value of this variable will be final. We cannot change it later on. Uh, and in the second line, where static int a equal to ninety, in this uh, the value of uh, the current value of the variable is ninety. But later on, if we change the value of the, that, then the latest value will be stored in that. And uh, uh, in the third line, where final static int a, in this also the uh, value of the variable will be uh, permanent or constant. So, what is the use of this last statement, which is good? Yes. What is good in this? But it uh, value will be uh, permanent, sir. It will not uh, get the latest value of the variable okay. uh, because of the final. So, you should say in this case, you cannot change and stores only uh, one copy one like that. Copy. Latest. So, both purpose will get solved in this, right? Uh, yes. Great. Okay. Next question would be Will your code compile or not? Yes, sir, it will get compiled. Will this code compile or not? Uh, no, sir, because uh, we have to initialize the final variable. Yes, good. You must be initialized. Initialize this. the final. If I don't want to initialize this, is there any other option available? There hmm? might be available, but I don't. See. Okay, there might be available, but yes. you don't know. Yes, yes. yes. I would like to tell this by using a constructor also. You can do that. Okay. Yes, sir. Something like this. Okay. <clears throat> Next would be. Let me ask you some question. Can we call this variable from outside of class? Uh, yes, we can call it. You can call. You can assign some value into it. No, we cannot assign value. Why? Because the value is constant, so okay, we cannot great. modify it. Good. Uh, void max. SOP means system dot dot println. So this is not possible. You said right? Yes. What value it will print? Ninety nine. What value it will print? Very good. Sorry. Ninety-nine, sir. Think again. Okay. Okay, you're correct. Let's this is static. What did you print? Ninety-nine. 
Okay, sure. Yes. Sure. Think once again. Yeah, no problem. That's wrong. Uh, you cannot have local variable as static, okay? So it will not compile. Got the point? Yes, sir. Okay. And to call M1 method from here. Is it possible by any chance in Java? Uh, no, sir. Because private, the uh, the scope of private uh, specifier is very limited, which is only for within the class. Okay, so you mean to say it is not possible, right? Yes. If it is protected, then it is possible with the help of child class, by the reference of child class. Okay. Now, do you think it's possible? Can we call M1 method of class A from main method? No, sir. We have to make it protected then. No, but it is possible or not? No. Really? Now it's possible. Can we call M1 method from main yes, method? Yes, we can call. But we cannot uh, change implementations of the method. We cannot change, right? Mm -hmm. So how to change that? How we change any method implementation? If it is not final, then it can be possible. Yeah, you are correct. By but overriding. By method overriding, overriding right? What it will print? Uh, four times two. Sorry? Uh, four times two. Pakka? Yes. No. Now think why no. You are wrong. Why? Okay. So this is one more question. Okay. Yes. So first of all, what it will print? Triple one, sir. Triple one, it will print, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have extended the class. What is the problem? It can uh, we can call both the methods because of we have extended the yes, class. Yes, but so I have created object of B, right? So yes. two to two should get printed. Is that right or not? Yes, sir. And why you said one? I thought because it is extended, so uh, it is also possible to print triple one. Okay, okay. yeah, first of all, answer is not two and not one. Okay. okay, both are wrong because you know the concept of overriding. Yes, what happens? What about access specifier in overriding? Uh, it needs to be same, same or yeah. overriding, it needs to be same or it should be bigger. bigger okay, huh? but yes. here it is default. Okay, so sometimes interviewer might confuse you in this way. He asks, he make you concentrate here, but he made mistake. Here. Okay. Understood? Okay, yes. So, what would be the correct answer for this question? It will not yes. compile. Uh, compile yes. So, there is no question of giving answer. answer. But how focused he is, right? Yes. Okay. Why in Java multiple inheritance is not allowed? 
बिकॉज ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर बिकॉज एवरी कंस्ट्रक्टर फर्स्ट लाइन इज सुपर कॉल एंड मल्टीपल इनहेरिटन्स मीन्स वेर टू आर मोर पेरेंट क्लासेस एंड वन चाइल्ड क्लास सो द सुपर कॉल विल गेट कन्फ्यूज दैट एक्जैक्टली विच पेरेंट क्लास इट हैव टू कॉल सो दैट्स वाई इट क्रिएट कन्फ्यूजन and that's why it is possible with the help of interface because there is no constructor concept in interface very good very good very good something more This is next question, okay? Okay. Main means public study void main, okay? What it will print? Can you write down the output? Ah, uh, it will give compile time error. It will give error. Why? Because uh, we can cannot access static methods in static contents. We cannot access static method in static contents. What is the problem? Can you tell me the line number? Where is the problem? Is? Uh, See, main method is static, right? Yes. So I call static method from static. What is the problem? We cannot access static in static contents, basically. What does static context mean? See, main method is static, right? Yes. You are saying that main method. You are saying? No, uh, I am saying about the another method which is static void. Uh, can you rename it? Static void M Y. Okay, so what is the problem? It is static. That's why. That's why. That's why we cannot call it M. Which one? Which method? In main method. Okay, so you mean to say this is static method. That's why you cannot call in main mm -hmm. method, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Do you really think so? You mean to say main method cannot call to static methods? Ah, uh, no. We can call it directly by the class name. So I did it, right? Yes. Then why it's not allowed? You are saying. Don't get confused, okay? Relax. So this will not compile, okay? You are very correct, and really, really, I'm happy that you are answering in such a, such a, such a tremendous good manner, okay? This is not possible, okay? Because I'm trying to call here directly, hmm. correct? Yes. Static method cannot call non-static methods like this. Okay. Right? We need to create object, yes. right? Or otherwise, by class name and vice versa is allowed. Yes. From MX, we can call MY. Got it? Yes. So don't get confused. Really, really. Uh, Great answers you are giving. Uh, what is Maven? Uh, Maven is a tool we can say which mm -hmm. developers using for making their day-to-day -day operations easier. Because Maven has ability to download dependencies auto automatically, mm -hmm. which we are actually putting in the respective dependency block. Mm -hmm. And later on, we have to update the Maven project uh, to save those changes. If we want to download the dependencies for Hibernate, Spring Boot, or uh, anything uh, Selenium like, uh, so we have to. Uh, update this Maven project and the changes will get saved. Great. So you have system, you have Eclipse in place. Yes. Um, can you share screen? Yes. You are electrical engineer, right? Yes. Are you really fresher? Yes, sir. Really? Actually, I have worked in the manufacturing industry. Manufacturing industry, yes. but right now you are fresher, ah, right 20, 20 to pass out, right? Yes. With your knowledge, I'm suspecting that you are fresher. Just kidding, but yes. really good knowledge you are carrying with yourself, and really, really that will be helpful for your career. Okay. Yes. So give me remote control. <clears throat> so you did these many projects, you want to say? Yes. This curriculum projects, this shopping application, and all. Uh, no, sir. It is just a project. Like I have performed the projects on inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction, 
No, no, this is shopping controller I'm asking. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is academics, right? Ah, yes. Great. So you wrote code in this, you mean to say? Yes. Can you I show me something? The, Can you show something? I have oh, shopping controller. This, uh, no, uh, the shopping controller is not in this uh, workspace actually, sir. Uh, here's the project which is uh, hospital management. Can you go to core Java code? Yes. I take many interviews and I, when I see people have workspace fulfilled with these many codes, it's really, really happiest moment for an interviewer when he is interviewing a fresher. Every interviewer want fresher should have hands-on experience. He should have practice. Let it be BSc, BCom, B, or any any stream doesn't matter. Okay, so can you open this Core Java code folder? Yes, sir. This is the practice one. This is the folder for the Core Java projects. Like I have created here. Yeah, actually, it's not program. getting loaded at my place. Uh, can you share screen once again? Okay, right now I can see. Oh, this Max element in array. Oh, yes. Okay. Then there These is many a, programs you did? Huh, palindrome, then palindrome then So really, videos. you are aware of these programs? Yes, sir. Sure. Yes. Good. But really, really great that you practice this. Means, I mean to say, when teacher was teaching, you was practicing every day? Yes, sir. You was getting time to study on this? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so let's open new workspace. New workspace or can I create new package over here? Uh, close these projects. So this is logical uh, capability I'm gonna test. Okay. okay yes. Yeah. Close these projects. Control A. Control A. Right click. Close. Yes. After refresh. Close project. Yes. Okay. So create new class. New project and new class. Ah, new project, yes. Create a Java project. Can I create class, sir? Yeah, wait. Create a class name A. A. Okay. Finish. Okay. Now create one array with four or five elements, integer array. That's it. Okay, now I want to find smallest number in this array. Can you write down code for that? Yes, sir. Go ahead.
Should I run some? Yeah, just uh, run it. Great. If I want to find maximum number in this program, okay, yes. what code I need to change? Uh, we have to do, first of all, we will change the uh, name of this variable, which is max. And then we just have to uh, change the condition over here because here we are comparing all the uh, elements of the array with minimum value. But now we, what we will do, we will uh, change the condition here, which is greater than. And then it will assign the greatest uh, element value in the max variable. Yeah, so with the help of this, we can get the max array. Okay, great. Uh, good. Uh, I think uh, you understood the code. Uh, rather, you by heart this code, okay? So with understanding, you have done, right? Yes, great. So I'm good with this. Uh, not a problem. Uh, one more code I'll ask. Um, I want to generate a series with multiple of five. Okay. Till the number I give. Till the number? I provide. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. From zero. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So can you write down code? Yes. Means multiple of five should be printed okay. uh, until the uh, number which I'm saying. Okay. Up to the which number, sir? Yeah, that I will provide you while running, okay? Okay, okay. So, what would I put in the condition? Like That you think, I am going to give that at the time of running a okay. code, right? Yeah. So, it should be dynamic. Okay. Okay, so dynamically how we'll do, you know, scanner. Ha, yes. Right, but yes. no problem. So till hundred it will be print. Mm -hmm. Can you comment eighth and tenth line? Eight and tenth. Okay, eight and tenth. Yes. Do you think that answer will be different now? Um, yes. Yes, it will be a wrong answer, right? Uh, yes, because uh, it will not uh, give only numbers which are divided divided by 5, which are giving 0 the remainder. Can you check? Yes. Oh, it's again giving? Yes. Then, okay, not a problem. Yeah, so i equal to i plus 5 itself says yes, multiple of 5, okay. right? So, you don't need to write again and again, but what you did on 8th and 10th line that is more perfect you should write here i plus plus ah, yes okay because i plus i equal to i plus 5 is not taking guarantee of yes. mod 5 ah. because if you start with the 5 uh, you just make i equal to 1 can you do that here no uh, uh, int i equal to 1 okay. then things will be in different direction yes so i need to do the i plus plus over here right no 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 keep it control z Turn it. Hmm. Yeah, so answer is not correct, right? So you cannot rely on i equal to i plus pi. So you should be relying on this i mod pi. So we are uh, so we are applying if condition, then we need to give your i plus plus only. Perfect, and that is more perfect code. Yes. Okay. Great, great, great. So again, wait. Uh, 